good. It was just fun, a ton of excitement, just getting out on the grass and, and going and do what uh, everybody's been working towards. Out on the field, there was a lot of good, a lot of bad. Uh, no, no shoulder pads on, so uh, it's tough to tell some of the things that you want to on, on both sides of the line of scrimmage. But uh, I thought all in all, uh, kids practiced hard and, and uh, get back in, watch some tape, and hopefully get better. Do you ease into these things, Josh, is that, or do you hit the ground we, we We hit the ground running. We, we hit, uh, hit practice with the, the same urgency that we would. Uh, the tempo inside of practice is that way. Uh, we scale down the amount of time that we're actually on the grass just to incrementally. Uh, build it so uh, you don't just throw them into the long fire right away. Um, and again, you know, I think the majority of injuries happen in, in the first four days, so you try to build up uh, to them going uh, for an extended period of, of practice. What did you see from your quarterbacks today? Uh, some good, some bad, right? Like uh, like the other positions, um, you know, I, I thought DG was, was really consistent throwing the football throughout the entire day, um, liked what he did got in some teams uh, situations and probably would want one or two decisions back. Um, you know, Brandon, I, I thought, got better as the day went on. Um, by the time we got to, to team situations, he was really accurate with some of the deep uh, deep ball stuff down the field. And Quad was uh, was consistent throughout the day. For a guy like Dylan Gabriel, how important was it for him to be able to be here in January so he can jump right into it for Yeah, I, I think it's, it's critical for all freshmen, uh, not just the quarterback position, um, that you know, you get here in January, you get an install before you get to spring ball, you get to go back through it, and then you're kind of a vet by the time you get to summer and, and you understand what you're doing in every area of our, our program. Uh, when they get to fall camp, they don't feel like a freshman. Uh, they feel like a, a guy that's been through it and understands what's going on, how we need to practice. Um, so critical for, for DG that uh, he was here in January. I think it's accelerated his learning curve. Uh, beyond measurement and, and uh, give them a real chance to, to be the guy. Um, but uh, I think that's true for all of them. The, the true freshman that just got here in, in June, uh, you could tell a difference in, in what was going on on the practice field. It was moving really quick, didn't understand just the tempo, how we, we uh, changed throughout the course of practice. And, and uh, you know, they'll catch up, but uh, it's a learning curve for them. We you saw Daryl Mack out there briefly in good spirits. I mean, what was he doing for you out there? And uh, I saw the boot on his, on his foot. So we're just yeah, I, I mean, he's partly in rehab, um, and when he's able to come out and, and watch, uh, he's able to, to be there and, and, uh, and talk to the QBs a little bit. When you've looked at Brandon Wimbush, why do you think he's struggled with his accuracy during his career? I, I think it's just some fundamental things, body position, uh, first and foremost, you know, and, and uh, uh, if you want to be consistently accurate as a quarterback, it's about getting your body in the right position. For, uh, for Dylan Gabriel, what has impressed you the most about him? You know, to be a freshman and be squarely in the mix, what has he done well that's impressed you? Um, uh, you know, physical attributes out there. He's extremely accurate with the ball. He's, he's a good decision maker, which means he processes things really well. Um, he's extremely confident in who he is. Uh, the game's never been too big you know, since the moment he got here on campus. And, and uh, you know, I think that's why our players have a great amount of confidence in him, not just him having con confidence in himself. What kind of improvement have you seen in quad you just in the year that and he's been here? He physically, uh, like for, for people that followed him in high school or when he first got here on campus, he's dramatically changed his body. You know, he's, I don't know, like 18 pounds heavier. You know, he's got some substance and strength to him. Uh, he's been a really good athlete since the, the time he got on, on campus, but he's more explosive because of uh, the muscle that he's put on. Uh, he's got a really strong arm, and uh, just got to continue to to dive into what we're doing and and uh, be a better decision maker. You mentioned yesterday that a lot of guys transformed uh, from the other season. Yeah. Was that even more apparent today? Does it make them? Well, I, uh, seeing them around uh, the facility and, and you know them walking around, you get a pretty good <laughs> glimpse <laughs> as to to what they've done with their bodies. But I, I think for uh, seeing them in pads in a couple of days, you'll feel that presence even more. Uh, for the guys, you know, just some donors and stuff that hadn't been around, uh, them coming out and having a chance to see our guys, uh, it was dramatic to them, just the difference in those guys. How would you describe the energy out there? Everybody back on the field working, um, we saw everybody pretty hyped, but I'm sure it got a little bit, you know, heightened when we left. What was that like? Yeah, a, a ton of excitement, man. You've been working a long time to, to get back out on the grass. You know, they haven't been there since the middle of April, and they put in a ton of work. Um, they were excited about meetings. They were excited in the team meeting room last night. They were excited about getting out on, on the practice field. Um, I think they're all excited about getting back in the meeting room and getting better and coming out for day two. You know, uh, our, our vets, um, and, you know, they're really confident in what they're doing. Our young guys got to accelerate their learning curve really quickly. 
uh, to see if they can propel them in, into a position where they can help us this fall. What does the rest of the day look like for you guys in the team? Uh, players get about three three hours off here in, in between uh, workouts. They'll come back. We'll go into meetings. Uh, they'll get a quick lift in. Um, then we'll have a walkthrough tonight. Do you, do you script on the field for like a week out, or do you freelance every day, changing that schedule to get work, and then you get your coaches telling you, hey, this is what we need? I think, you know, um, you know, offensively, uh, defensively as well. Um, you got a pretty good understanding of how your progression, your learning progression of your installs is going to go through the early part of camp. And that's really, you know, maybe the first eight to 10 days um, based on where you're at at that time. And some of the personnel decisions you may or may have not made at that time, you continue to work the things that you're going to need to uh, on both sides of the ball. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, <laughs>